Alright guys, how's it going? It's Gaz here for MUFC Daily on Full Time Devils, bringing you all the latest Manchester United news and Manchester United fan community news. So, it is Monday and we've got quite a lot to get through, so let's get straight into it. It is the international break, of course, which does mean that transfer rumours just seem to go into overdrive, don't they? We've been linked to about a million players over the weekend, none of them realistic. In fact, the most realistic one out of all of them is James Rodriguez from Real Madrid. I know what you're thinking. Guys, that's not realistic at all. I know it's not, but it's genuinely the most realistic one that we've got. Reports in Spain saying that he's unhappy at Real Madrid, he's unhappy under Rafa Benitez, and uh, Man United may be in there to get him. Apparently his agent, of course, the Dark Lord of the Sith, <laughs> George Mendes, apparently he's been in sorts with, uh, with United regarding a possible transfer. Can't see it happening. I think he'll stay at Real Madrid and I think he'll be brilliant there because he's a fantastic player and I can't see any reason why Real Madrid would be happy to let him go to Man United. Can't see that one happening at all, guys. Uh, anyway, moving on from that, Jamie Vardy, another unrealistic one. He's a player who's in fantastic form. I mean, absolutely fantastic form. He's a pleasure to watch at Leicester at the minute. However... He's a pleasure to watch because we all know deep down he's not actually that good. <laughs> like, that is it's one of them, in it, where, go on, lad, well done, because you know he's not that good. You know, if he was a good player, you'd just be like, oh, sod off, stop scoring like you were with Diego Costa last season, because you know he's actually a good player. Jamie Vardy won't come Man United. He's 28 years old. He's in decent form. If we didn't go for Harry Kane, or we didn't go all out for Harry Kane, did we, when he was in decent form, and he was a lot younger. So I can't see any reason why we go for Jamie Vardy. It just seems a bit obvious, like, oh, top goal scorer in the league, let's link them with the biggest club in the league. Seems a bit silly to me. Anyway, I'm moving on from that. Alexis Sanchez, there are rumours saying that he wants to come to Manchester United. No, he doesn't. Moving on. <laughs> um, there's, you know what, this last one, I don't even want to talk about this last one, because... You know how I get with transfer rumours, and this one is just ridiculous. Messi. Apparently a number of English clubs are in for him. It's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen, is it? You don't need me to tell you why it ain't going to happen. Anyway, moving on from the ridiculous transfer stories, let's talk about Jesse Lingard. He's just been called up to the England squad after Michael Carrick dropped out through injury. It's a nasty-looking injury for Carrick as well. We hope that he gets back to his best very, very soon. But Jesse Lingard, as a positive, has been called up. We could see him get his debut tomorrow against France in a friendly. Maybe it's a little bit too early for the lad. I know that he's not young, but he's only recently sort of broke into the first team. So in sort of a career, um, in a career sense, not an age sense, maybe it's a little bit too early for him. But it's only a friendly, so it will be nice to see him get his first England cap. Nice to see a United lad, a lad who grew up supporting Manchester United, now plays for Manchester United. Great to see him get his England debut. Can't wait to see that tomorrow. Um, also, the UNICEF match for children uh, on Saturday. David Beckham's charity match, of course. Uh, raised loads of money. Fantastic cause. It was a good game as well. Now I see some of the legends have still got it. See that Beckham cross into skulls. That was absolutely stunning. Won't give away the score or anything if you've not seen it already. Um, Full-time Devils were at the game. We've got loads of videos up on the YouTube channel. Go and check them out. Full-time Devils on YouTube. We've also got a Snapchat story of the day, which is always fun to watch with Adam. Um, and also, just to announce the Football Manager 2016 competition winner. And I'm sorry, I'm going to pronounce your name wrong, but that's, uh, you know what I'm like. His name is uh, Jivan Sanger. Now, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. That's J E V A N S A N G E R. Congratulations, you have won your copy of Football Manager 16. You lucky, lucky sod. Anyway, guys, I've been Gaz on MUFC Daily on Full Time Devils. I'll see you in a bit. Before I go anywhere else, I need to explain this. I went for the Ron Burgundy look, ended up looking like Freddie Mercury. It's all for November, though. So, although I look like an idiot, Hopefully we'll be raising some money for a good cause.